hi guys you're yeah, welcome back to my youtube channel it's diamond mom here again if you are new here you're very much welcome thank you for stopping by and please subscribe to this channel please also to my returning subscribers thank you guys for always coming back so in today's video i will be discussing with you guys i'm still on this early marriage thing because <laughs> like i don't know if you're if you've been frequent on social media this week last week you would see that there is a battle against early marriage i don't know if you guys have noticed like there is this battle mostly on facebook about how you shouldn't get married until you're 25 26 about how those that get married at 30 plus made the best decision and getting married at 20 21 22 it's very bad that that it's just like there is a mission out there to twat anything about early marriage now forgetting that people have different time frame and people have different purposes in life so i'm here to make this video to tell you i don't know that there might be somebody out there there might be people out there that maybe they want to enter into this early marriage thing and they are confused now seeing that the social media everywhere is about to don't get into early marriage and so on they might make a terrible mistake of, you know, not following their purpose, of not following, of not, you know, allowing things to fall accordingly in their life because they are just following the crowd. So I'm here to make this video to tell you some of the things, to discuss with you some of the things that would guarantee that your early marriage would work. One thing I noticed is most of these advocates of this kick against early marriage, they are divorcees that got married in their 18 years old, 19, 20s, and then they, they got married to bad men and now they are divorced so they are out there to tell everybody that see if you're getting married early it will end well most of them are people that were not also lucky to get married early they got married in their 30s or their late 20s and then they are like ah this is the best thing this is the best thing so i'm just here to tell you that do what works for you discover yourself discover your purpose because if you're meant to get married early and you feel like eh, since it's not since they are saying that we shouldn't get married you now follow the crowd ego choke you and if you keep on listening to these advocates that'll be like marriage is not everything you can uh, you can you can do other things you can do god that created marriage he did not make a mistake oh. it is god's will for man to find the bone of his bone and the flesh of his flesh and that they should go into the world and multiply so i don't know you're no more wiser than god that says okay that you should get married so let it now be that okay you actually try though but it's not working than for you to say eh i will not even try it so without wasting without talking too much let me just go into this and so i'll be discussing six things like if you can follow this thing say i guarantee you even though of course there is no marriage that doesn't have problem but you'll be able to deal with this problem effortlessly without even inviting a third party so guys the first factor like the first thing that you should consider before going into that early marriage so that it will not crash is for you to make sure that you're doing this on your own yes because you see this thing about pressure the pressure is getting what worse you're seeing your friends they're all getting married they're getting married at 19 20 21 they're having a flamboyant princess wedding and so on and you feel like bam you want to enter no it will not work so you need to make sure that you're deciding on your own that you're not being pressured by family by your parents because some parents actually pressure their children so make sure that you're not being pressured by your parents by your friends by anything by society just make sure that you decided on your own that okay you want to do this on your own that you are ready for it and you will work towards it so that's the number one factor that would make sure that your early marriage work even for any other marriage maybe you got married in your 30s or your 40s make sure that you're not being pressured that you're doing it on your own number two thing is i know this one is very hard because everywhere you go now if you enter social media you see this person just divorced marriage is this hey you're not saying i'm scared no don't be number two factor is be positive fill your mind with positivity see as a man thinker so he is out of your mind out of your heart make sure that you that you start to profess that you affirm a good healthy successful marriage that you're going to get a good husband or a good wife that your marriage will not fail your marriage because everywhere now you go on social media is either domestic violence or the husband killed the wife or the wife killed the wife or the husband or the children killed like is so much negative vibes negative and the thing is that 
there are many good marriages out there but i don't know why people that have good marriages do not come out to speak about their good marriages maybe they are scared that oh that somebody might maybe a witch can jinx their marriage and something but you find out that it is the advocates of bad marriages that abound everywhere they want to thwart god's purpose for man if we don't get married to procreate how then do we fulfill god's purpose now you get you procreating out of wedlock i'm not talking about that one in this video maybe in our other video we'll talk about that but this is god's purpose so we need to start you know letting the world know that there are good marriages that good marriages are out there so that we can motivate people because i know that there are so many women there are so many men that are scared to go into this marriage thing because of the bad bad news that they've been hearing but i'm here to tell you that if you want your marriage to work mostly your early marriage you need to fill your mind with positivity zero out all those negative vibes those negative that hey i'm scared i'm scared don't be scared pray towards it work towards it and you will see that your marriage will be one of those successful ones the third factor is for you to marry to say yes or marry a partner whose purpose aligns with your own see this is like if not one of the major causes of divorce and failed marriages you just you see for everybody in this world god created everybody for a purpose now you need to discover your purpose you need to discover your purpose because you don't just go into marriage a life-changing institution purposeless like aimless you don't even know where you stand you just be like okay if i get married if my husband say i go i go open shop i go open shop if my husband say me i go work bank work i go no you don't do that that marriage might crash like it might crash because there is no foundation now number one you need to know your foundation okay for example those that are in ministry like you want to be a pastor like as as a woman god called you that you're going to be a pastor you're going to be a marriage counselor and then you now want to get married you now get married to a man that is against anything ministry that will not even allow you to be traveling you know to to do god's work to 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 pursue your purpose that marriage will not work now and you are the one that made that mistake at first because initially you're meant to sit down discover your purpose and then marry a man whose purpose aligns with yours this also goes with the men also you want to be a pastor you don't get married to a woman who like that is not in support of your pastorhood or your future ministries if you just say okay um baby i would like to be a lecturer in the future i hope you're okay with it oh of course of course i know this, 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 this. when you not get married you're not telling him you want to go and lecture and be like no you have to stay at home it goes beyond this and i feel like during the courtship you need to discuss about this thing. you need to watch out for signs to see if this person will be in support of your purpose that is the major reason why many people you know go out of their marriages because you will see this actresses like there is one actress i know one nigerian actress that was like she had to divorce her husband because she needed to come to nigeria you know to pursue her acting career and all those things so but these things would, wouldn't have happened if you had you know if you had discovered yourself see let me tell you if you cannot discover yourself at the age of 19 at the age of 20 how sure are you that you can discover yourself at the age of 30 so it's, it even goes beyond age there are so many people at the age of 40 they've not still discovered themselves so it goes beyond age it goes beyond you knowing what you want you being that like you living in line with your purpose and also praying to god to reveal these things to you on time now another factor that would guarantee that your marriage works better and fine is if you get married to a mature than a patient partner of course you are young and you might be prone to you know all this juvenile delinquency and all those things so your marriage would only work like to a greater degree if you get married to a mature person you know that will be patient for you to grow that will also teach you because if you get married to somebody that is like ah no i, I cannot tolerate this thing now what is it before you know if you do something if you do a little mistake the person will start beating you beating you and all those things because the person is not matured and not patient so that is one thing also that leads to the separation of most early marriages when you get married to a partner that cannot understand that okay you are the younger person here you are 19 or you're 18 or you're 20 and you tend to behave in a certain way in my previous video i talked about the problems of early marriages now just imagine somebody exhibiting all those traits i made mention of in my previous video you and the person is is married to a man that is not mature and is not patient of course the marriage would have broken up by now so you need to, to you need to be wise when choosing your partner also because it will determine if that marriage works or 
not another factor also that would determine if your early marriage work in fact if your if your marriage works is if you're dynamic and flexible because you cannot be a rigid person and then you enter into marriage expecting it to work of course it will fail so even if you're you're 19 you're 20 and you're and you're contemplating on going into marriage just know that you have to be dynamic you have to be flexible like you need to know that there are some situations that will arise in your marriage and it could destroy that marriage or it could build it up so you need to be able to be flexible to be able to change to be able to compromise also because you must not have everything go your way at all times because this is one thing i'll be like oh i am this i can never change this i can never compromise this see stop listening to all those advocates of if if you try to compromise or if you try to adjust a little bit it means that you're being abused or you're being this see there are so many things that you could do the success of of your marriage lies in your hands so you need to work towards it you need to make mature decisions you need to be able to be flexible and to be dynamic to change to be able to adapt there are situations that will arise that you need to adapt you don't need to be rigid like lie lie things must work my way it mustn't for that marriage to work now the last thing and the most important factor that will determine if your marriage works you need to adopt the triangular model in your marriage god at the top then your husband and the wife without god that marriage cannot work if you feel like oh i need to just read books i need to do this i need to do that you need to pray you need to pray if you're a christian you need to invite god you need to tell the holy spirit to lead you to help you to give you the wisdom to be able to navigate this ministry called marriage because i bet you you can't do it on your own so that's why he has given us everything we need he is there we just need to call upon him you know and to tap into that grace and then see you see successful marriage see you see a long lasting love loving marriage so guys this is my one cent like this is just what i just feel like let me just come and address this thing at this time because it is getting so much like everywhere you go on facebook on instagram is like early marriage is a sin if you enter into it you're a fool so i know that there are so many people that might get confused or that might be pressured into you know making decisions against their will just so that they don't appear in the, in the bad lights in presence of all these celebrities that are advocating for this early marriage is a sin early marriage is a sin because of course as we all know most of our celebrities they they get married and in their 40s their 30s their 50s and then because they get married at that age it doesn't mean that that should be the model right mm -hmm. so everybody has their own timeline so guys please i will welcome your contributions and your suggestions what do you think about this early marriage thing like do you think it is it is not wise it is not good for a lady for a girl to enter into it at in her early 20s and so on or do you think that she should wait until she's 25 and above so guys if you know you love this video please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel also share these videos to as many people out there because see it will do a whole lot of good to so many people out there and subscribe to this channel please 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 let's take this channel to 500 subscribers please before this week runs out yes amen 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 before this week runs out and i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now